What you're about to experience are my opinions and truths. I'm suggesting their possibilities for you to consider, in which you can then come up with your own logical conclusions. Welcome out, everyone, all of you great decoders around the world, wherever you may be, both male and female. My name is Logan for Decoder Reality, and this is another scripted reality. This is going to be part two, and today's topic is going to be on assassination. Not just any assassination, but the assassination of Michael King Jr., otherwise known as Martin Luther King. And did this really happen? Well, you got to be the judge of that. Did this event really happen? We see, folks, whether something happens or not is irrelevant because it still falls under the guidelines of the event playing out in the script called life. Because, sure, there's a lot of fake things that happen, but they're still written into the script. Just like a movie. A movie's not real, but it's written. It has a screenplay. It's got a script to it. So this is going to be assassination. I'm going to break down Martin Luther King. I got some astrology in here, folks. For those of you that are astrology fans, I'm going to show you how the astrology charts have their say in it. And this will be scripted reality too. So I want to jump in and show, before I get into Martin Luther King, I want to show kind of a little bit of a breakdown of how this movie right here ties into the MLK assassination. This movie right here, The Manchurian Candidate, I've shown it several times throughout Decodes that I've been doing. To the right is the main star of the 1962 version. And then it was redone again in 2004, starring Lee Schreiber and Denzel Washington. Great movie. It's interesting because they, you know, they this was the main guy right here was the he was the he was the the uh the mind control guy he was gonna take out the president and the same with this guy so they kind of and i think they did a great job casting how the look of these this these two gentlemen are but you know clearly the big standout is the queen of diamonds this is from the cover of the the first 1962 version and this is really a big deal in what we're going to be talking about the queen diamonds the red queen because this card is card number 38. And this was all about mind control and killing people. And I'm not talking about MK Ultra, folks. Like that, that's just a hand down. That's a fractal down because mankind, as I said, is being used. Card 38 right here. Just so we can be crystal clear, here are the cards of illumination. Those of you that are new, the 52 cards in a, 50, in a playing deck of cards. These are all numbered. Well, here's card 38, the Queen Diamonds. It's called the Red Queen. It was on the front cover of this. Check out, you know, go, go read about the Manchurian Candidate. But it's right there, the 38. And we can start to break down these two guys to start this off with a bang. Into it, and then we'll get into the assassination with MLK to show you how he's no exception. So we have a movie that we're showing. And these are the two characters that got casted to play their roles as the Manchurian candidate to kill the president. 1962 Manchurian candidate, this gentleman right here from Lithuania, and then Lee Schreiber from San Francisco. And, you know, I'm going to look right at their birthdays, of course, and, you know, look at what birthdays they have. They're just born three days apart, not in the, in the year, but just the months, October 1st and the 4th. And here are their birth cards. The five of diamonds and the eight of diamonds. Notice that these are all diamonds. The queen of diamonds is what's running the show here. And then if you take the five and the eight and you bring it together, you get 50. You get puppet master. And I saw some of you say, well, what if it's 85? Absolutely, because 85 is going to be tied to Sophia and the star Sirius, if you've been paying attention. But if you take 85 and 58 and add them up, the mirror, you're going to get 143, which is a permutation of pi. 
But they're all the diamonds. They're all in the diamond suit here, these two gentlemen, playing out, being ruled over by the queen. And it's just a movie. Like we say, well, that's not real. Well, is, is this real? Did this really happen? Or are we just entertainment? Is something watching us? That's what I think is happening. But anyway, going a little bit further, if you take the two cards and you add them up, card 31 and card 34, it's 65. It's going to lead to this element right here called zinc. Now we bring alchemy into this. Why alchemy? Because alchemy is a lot of these elements we have to take in. They're essential. They're part of our bodies, part of the earth's crust, part of the air. So these have a massive say in our reality, folks. And 34 and 31 to 65, it's tied to this element called zinc, which is the 30th element. Keep in mind the word demiurge equals 30. The word Santa Claus equals 30. The word Nazareth equals 30. And when you say the word zinc, it's 16. It's tied to the word light. It's tied to the word hell. How many days of creation? One through six. This is all telling us about the movie. And what does a movie need to be produced? Light. That's what comes out of the projector. So you can see it on the movie screen. Well, what do we need to move around and create our little movie down here in the theater that we're playing out? Light. You need light. You can't stumble around in the dark and, 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 uh, and act out your part. You need light. Whether it's natural sunlight or whether it's artificial, you're going to need light. These gentlemen are just doing their jobs. They are professional actors. That's what they get paid to do. But, I mean, this is a dead giveaway. And, you know, really, where do you go from here, folks? How would you describe what I'm going to show you and narrate you right here? Other than this is a script that these two guys are playing out. They didn't have a choice in it. Here are the numerology of their names, their birth names. 113. 113's the 30th prime number. You go right back to that zinc element and you go right back to their cards. How do you how can you describe this? I mean, do you think that Hollywood is sitting down to screw you over and mock you? Because they're getting these outcomes? Oh, wait a minute, I know. It's the Jesuits. That's that's what's behind all this. Some that's what some of you think. Or the, the Masons are behind it. Or it's the Knights Templar. <laughs> those people are being used too, folks i've broken them down check out my society of jesus if you don't think so there's no hall passes this is crystal clear right here with these gentlemen and this is what it comes down to i've shown this slide many times this is what i feel is going on we're a puppet on strings we're being role played it's theater and it's the demiurge that runs the show the word zinc and hell and all this is tied to sulfur. Sulfur is an essential element for the body as well. But it's all about being role played, micromanaged by the game master down here. And these two gentlemen, no exception. Just go study their histories and what their backgrounds are, folks. It's ridiculous. Yeah, I could have just kept going with this code. So that leads into the big the big topic here on the world stage for this scripted reality part two. Now we're getting into some real life. This was a movie right here. Not real life, right? But what's the difference? And now we're going to get into some real life stuff. Michael King Jr. was his birth name. Went by Martin Luther King Jr. But this was his birth name. And this is where it just, you know, I'm not trying to uh, be comical about someone's life. Obviously, he was a big time person on the world stage doing what he needed to do he was doing his job incarnated to do what he did but you see you look at like his birthday he's got a very interesting birthday born on january 15th the 15th day of the year tied to the element phosphorus phosphorus is tied to lucifer the light bringer lucifer and jesus kind of one in the same the light that the simulation needs to shine and create itself and he has, a, if you add up his birthday, you're going to get the life path number one. It's going to be a 28. That's going to be tied to Lucifer, the light bringer, tied to his birthday on the 15th and Phosphorus. But it's going to reduce down to the number one. And this is very important for this guy because number one, those of you that have life path number one, these are the leaders on the world stage. This guy was absolutely living out that path. Absolutely living out that path of being the leader on the world stage. He, had, he didn't have a choice in it. That's what he's doing. And just to be very crystal clear on his assassination, right here is the, the, the nail in the coffin of why he didn't have a choice either on that. It was inevitable. It was predestined in the script. 
because he's got the queen diamonds card. J uh, January 15th, let's be really transparent. Go to the boilerplate chart for the cards of illumination. Your birthday is gonna be in here. I hope by now you have this chart. I've sent it to countless people. But here are the 12 months running across and here's January, come down to the 15th and bam, right there, he's got the queen of diamonds card. So right there, it's, folks, this guy didn't have a choice. He was gonna get assassinated, it was written in his script. It was written in the script. Now, people say, well, it didn't really happen, but it was written into the script. You see? So real life movie, it's written into the script called The Game of Life. Everything is fake and real in this self-contained system. It's just fractals. That's all it is. But there's the Queen Diamonds, and you just go right back, and you have it tied to the Manchurian camp. You see, folks, this guy, this guy was supposed to take out the president. I mean, assassination, and he's got the assassination card. <laughs> I mean, folks, you got to start using some common sense and logic here. We live in a scripted reality. Mankind is not in control of it. We're just playing out our roles. How about this guy? Do you want to talk about scripted? Stephen Paddocks, the guy who was related to the worst killing in United States history. 60 people lost their lives in counting. Route 91 Harvest Festival, October 1st. Another October 1st. October 1st is when this happened. Remember that we go back here, this guy was born on October 1st. He was the Manchurian candidate. Think about what I'm telling you now. Route 91 Harvest Festival, those people that all lost their lives, was that all fake? I know people that personally were in Vegas, folks, okay? Been to the hospitals October 1st. He's got the birthday of October 1st. He was casted to play the mind control person to take out the president. Manchurian candidate. Assassination. This guy, assassination. And lo and behold, what is his birthday? April 9th. What do you think his birth card is? Well, let's go to the trusty chart here. Here's April. Come down to the ninth. Bam. Same card. Queen of Diamonds. So he was pinned to kill people. And then Martin Luther King, of course, did get killed. You see how it's all tied together here? This, this is no exception to this, folks. This is the code playing out, the source code playing out. Okay, this is the source code playing out. How about the guy who allegedly took him out? Now, I know there's a lot of discrepancy around that. You get into the Memphis lieutenant, the police officer. If you go read the story, you're going to get another gentleman that, that, that maybe they want to pin it on, this guy Lloyd in the story, and this, it's a big conspiracy. Yeah, maybe. But this guy has to be a part of it because he's written into the script. His last name is the big dead giveaway, Ray, which is radium and yttrium, tied to the number 39, guiding light in... The number 88. But I mean, he was born on May, uh, March 10th. What's really interesting is he's the king. So the way this is looking out here, he's the king allegedly taking out the queen. Assassination. Okay. We don't really know because it just goes back and forth. And then this person comes in and this guy says this. And it's just so much. So much to these things. But it doesn't matter because it's all written to the script of life, folks. It's all written into the script of life. <clears throat> Here's the motel. Here's you want to talk about scripted folks. Wait, wait I'm going to drop a big, some big bombs right now. This is the hotel or motel that he was shot at in Memphis. It's called the Lorraine Hotel, and the wreath right here. I mean, you should go read about this story, right here. There's the big color picture of it. This wreath right here is the approximate location of where he was standing when he got shot. And when you go read about this, you'll see that I've got it highlighted here. It was on April 4th. He was staying in room 306. And they said that he stayed in this room so often that they called it the King Abernathy Suite. Yeah, they named it after him because he stayed there so much. 306. I mean, folks, see, Martin Luther King was the Jesus Christ character. He was the antagonist. Or the protagonist. He was the, the superhero. He, came, he incarnated to play out his role 
for equality and to end racism and everything else he did. That was his job. That's why he has a life path number one. You look at his birth chart, it, you can see all the signs of why he incarnated. But I mean, he gets shot and he was staying in room 306. Jesus Christ is 36. His name is Michael, his birth name, Michael Archangel Michael, which is known as Jesus Christ. Folks, I mean, are you kidding me? Can you see the script here? Just using the Chaldean, you don't have to deviate away from the Chaldean if you want to figure out how this reality works and how it's scripted. Start paying attention. But this is a dead giveaway right here. Well, let's keep going. He was assassinated at the Lorraine Motel, which is a 49. You see, you got to look at every angle here. We go right back to Stephen Paddock's. When was Stephen Paddock's born? April 9th. What is April 9th also written as? 4 slash 9, 49. Queen Diamonds card. Lorraine Motel, 49. This guy's got the Queen Diamonds card. He was assassinated. Assassination is 38. He's got the 38th card in the deck. He didn't have a choice, folks. It was inevitable. That he came in, he incarnated, he got taken out. Just was part of his script. Part of this movie that we're playing out. All right? You keep going here, and let's look at some astrology now. So if you're interested in learning astrology, man, pay attention to what I'm going to show you now. Now, this chart right here is using the Vedic, the sidereal chart. Okay, I'm going to show the uh, Western here in a little bit. But this is the sidereal chart. And they both are important. They both have their own merit. They both have their own truths. You can find it in both of the charts, even though the charts are going to be a little bit different. But this is crystal clear and showing you how astrology rules over this reality. It has its hand in the cookie jar. And this is undeniable if you know how to read astrology charts. This, this chart right here was grafted from, I went, I went right to the time and it was on April 4th and it happened at 6.01 p.m. Of course, 6.01 is tied to Prometheum. Okay, fired from a Remington model, 760, 76's, Osmium. It was called the Game Master Rifle. I mean, it's just ridiculous how scripted this guy's code is. But the big takeaway is right here, in his seventh house, seventh house being tied to the crown. What did Jesus Christ wear? The crown. And this is a dead giveaway of Martin Luther or Michael playing the Jesus Christ character in this reality. Good cop, bad cop. This is the way it works. Let me just zoom in and show all of you. This is his seventh house. Or I should say, I'm sorry. This is the seventh house of the location in Memphis on April 4th, 1968. And you'll notice that it's in the sign of Pisces. All this energy here. You got Rahu, the dragon's head. You have Saturn, the sun, Mercury, Venus, and Chiron. All in the same house, the seventh house. That's a shit ton of energy. And it's in the sign of Pisces. Now, it's very crystal clear because if you go across the way to this side, which is the rising sign, it's, it's Virgo, the virgin. And we know Jesus was born of a virgin. So it's very possible that Jesus comes from Virgo and he was born a fisher of men. And that's Pisces, the two fish. So it's obvious this axis is the most important standout for this assassination. And what you have here, you have the big north nodes here, the north and south node. You have K2, the south node, where the Kundalini rises and giving all its energy going all the way across through this Rahu. And this Rahu is the north node in the sign of Pisces, which is in his seventh, or in the seventh house, which is the crown. And Jesus wore the crown of thorns. This guy's portraying Jesus. And then the big takeaway besides that, ladies and gentlemen, is the timestamp of when Michael King Jr. was born, January 15th, and when he was assassinated, April 4th. Not using the years, just the days on the calendar. It's 80 total days. And it's tied to this element right here called Mercury. Now, some of you, you've been you know, pinpointing this. It's 201. Now you know what 201 is. Start using alchemy. It's tied to Mercury. 
And so where's Mercury located? Well, we go right back to the chart. There it is. Mercury is the messenger. Mercury is the messenger. So what did they do? They shot the messenger. I mean, right across the way that's opposing Mercury is Pluto, the god of destruction. Right there. Can't miss it. Pluto. All the way across, there's Mercury. And just taking him out. Taking out the crown. That's what Pisces is relating to. The Jesus Christ character, the two fish. Jesus was a fisher of men. Martin Luther King was playing the role of Jesus Christ. The seventh house, April 4th, got taken out. Shot the messenger. I mean, Mercury rules uh, Virgo. It's down here, and he took and he got taken out. And these this these nodes are massively important, all in the sign of Pisces, and in the seventh house, representing the crown. This is undeniable, folks. This was in his script by astrology rules. There's no getting around it. This is ironclad for this guy's script. And there's many other things you can observe, but this was the dead giveaway and the timestamp and being tied to Mercury, and there's the Mercury, and that's the messenger. So it was a dead giveaway. What about the coordinates of where he was assassinated? Memphis, 35 degrees north, 90 degrees west. You bring in alchemy again, we get bromine. Bromine being tied to the word simulation. 35 is simulation. So reality is not real, whatever's observing us. Just like when you watch a movie, it's not real. But you get emotionally involved with it because you can't make the determination on what's real and what's not when you get watching the television screen or the computer screen. Same thing. Whatever's watching us, it's, it's a movie. It's, we're entertainment, experiment, theater, all that stuff. And that's why it's got 79 as its weight. So the simulation is all about getting its gold. It's all about the exchange of energy. That's what alchemy is. And then the longitude is 90 degrees, and here's more of the Jesus. More of the, uh, to me, it's just comical. Not, not comical about his, him losing his life, but this, the script is comical to me. 90 degrees tied to this element, thorium, which is Thor. Now you get into Norse mythology. Thor being the god of war. Think about how that ties into what happened on April 4th when he was assassinated. And you got thorium and bromide, the simulation and the god of war playing out through the simulation. And Jesus even being tied to Thor. The very good similarities of that as well. So these are all showing the script in this guy's life. He didn't have a choice in the matter. And then this was probably the biggest dagger of them all to show you how heavily scripted this reality is. And mankind's not in control of it. They just act it out. So April 4th is the four of spades card. Let's just be very transparent. Here's April, and then here's fourth. And you know, keep in mind, see, this is how the energy works. The World Trade Center opened on April 4th, 1973. It opens its doors. And this card right here is going to tell us the picture now through the tarot. And it doesn't get any more clear than that, folks. It's the four swords. This is rest, death. This, I mean, think about it. This is somebody asleep. They're asleep. They get there hanging their swords up. He was put to death, folks. Through the, this is showing you crystal clear. This guy's life was scripted. He didn't have a choice. And this, this proves it to me. If you're a fan of the tarot and the cards and alchemy and astrology, these are undeniable measures here with numerology you blend them all together and you can start to see how this guy's this guy's life was completely scripted this is this is a dead giveaway so let's finish this up with one last piece in this scripted reality part two and that is martin luther king's famous speech on august 28th 1963 where he said i have a dream this was the name of the speech in washington dc right at the monument right in front of it and I mean, right there is a dead giveaway. Yeah, I have a dream, all right. It's called the dream of creating more of the simulation. And this is the comedy to me. That it's that 35. And, you know, you go back here and you realize that, you know, he was shot in Memphis with a 35 degree north latitude. You know, and he's talking about equality and ending racism and all the things that should be ended. 
All the ridiculous things that we have in this reality that cause a lot of resistance. But this was the biggest statement of his life here, or, or you know, the, the biggest uh, speech that he gave. Well, let's keep going real quick. He delivered a speech. It was 17 minutes long, more of the script, because, you know, he's just an actor. Actor 17. 17 minute speech. Why 17 minutes? Tied to the word actor. Being filmed. Not by any of us, but being watched and filmed by whatever's watching us outside this reality. And then, you know, the other big, the big thing is this lady right here, Mahalia Jackson. When you read the story of when he was going through a speech, it says that she shouted out to him, tell them about the dream. That's, that's when he was doing his speech. <clears throat> She yells this out and, you know, here's the connection. Here's her name. This is, this is when she went by professionally. She was a singer, 38, and you just go right back to the 38th card, which is Martin Luther King's card, which is assassination. And you just, you can just see, I mean, why, why is this in the script? Why is it in the whole journey of MLK? You know, why is she mentioned? Because she's in the script. Tied to him through numerology and the cards of illumination, just using Chaldean not deviating away from that. And then she's got a card. She's got the nine of hearts. She's got the nine of hearts. And when you add up 38 and nine, it is going to give you the number 47. 47 is not just any number. It's the 15th prime number. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, MLK was born on January 15th. You see, that's, that's how ridiculous. So maybe this lady's a, a Jesuit. Maybe, maybe she's a Mason trying to screw you over. Maybe they work for the CIA. They're trying to pull the woolly over your eyes. No, no, ladies and gentlemen, she's a freaking singer, man. She sang for like 40 years. That's what, her, that's what she did. There's no conspiracy here with this. These people are being used. They're playing out the script. This is scripted reality, ladies and gentlemen. That's the way it works. I found this right here, the, one of the flyers <clears throat> for this August 28th event. Kind of interesting. It happened in 1963. You watch my scripted reality, uh, Rage Against the Machine. They have their album cover, which was the picture of that Buddhist monk setting himself on fire in Saigon in 1963. 63 is tied to light, tied to europium, tied to the operating system. But nonetheless, look at, I have it circled down here. He's number 16 on the list. <laughs> and he's given this speech, I have a dream, dream is 16. It's tied to the word light, tied to the word hell, because we're living in hell. You're living in it. You just got to make heaven out of it. It just not takes life so serious. But I mean, you know, were they, were they sitting down? Whoever created this menu, did they know he was going to call? Did they know he was going to say, I have a dream? And they're like, oh, we better compute this in numerology and make sure we get the number 16 out there and he's got to be number 16. He's slated as, come on, ladies and gentlemen. Not a chance. This is all part of the source code playing out. This is the screenplay. People are just following their screenplay. And to finalize this scripted reality number two, in his famous speech, I Have a Dream, he said, and this is absolute, all men and women are created equal. It's exactly the way it should be. Everybody's even Stephen. Even the word equals 16, tied to the word dream, tied to the word light. <clears throat> but I mean, there's the dead giveaway. It's the yin yang, 69. And so I have the chart here for August 28th, night. This is the Western now, August 28th, 1963. This is a snapshot of 4.30 p.m. I figured it was, you know, he was at the tail end of this. It was still during the daytime. Um, but so the houses may not be exactly where they're supposed to be because I don't know exactly when he gave his speech. But I know that the placement of these uh, planets and celestial bodies will be in their respected zodiac signs and the big takeaway is right here there's his north node aka rahu and it's in the sign of cancer and what is cancer symbol 69 so his speech this is when he gave his speech and there's his north node right in the house of cancer or in the zodiac side of cancer. I, again, I don't know if this is exactly when his speech was at 4.30, because this may move it a little bit, but it's going to stay in that zodiac sign. may move the house. 
But if I did get it right, this is the seventh house, same as his assassination. But I can't say for sure, but I do know for sure that the North Node was in the sign of Cancer through the Western tr uh, Tropical System here. And there's so many other layers to look at this. I mean, he was born a Capricorn. There's his rising sign. If this is true with the timestamp, but I know this to be absolute and this is not an accident. All men are created equal 69 and he gave his speech. There it is. Bam. He was supposed to say it and his mind was not his own. He's just following his script, listening to the voice in his head, just like you're doing right now. And that's just the scripted reality. So ladies and gentlemen, what is it you saw during this scripted reality part two? The topic of assassinations featuring the great Michael King Jr. Love to hear what you saw. Keep them coming. I got more to come. More content coming out, ladies and gentlemen. But that's all I got for today. My name is Logan for Decode Reality and Scripted Reality. Until next time, we will see you later.